If you would like to get your song reviewed, dear listener, there's the filthy capitalist option. It's already says. 125 gets you straight to the head of the line. You don't have to be part of the alliance. So you don't have to be part of the group. Wait a minute. And the biggest thing is you don't have to wait. You hop, skip, and jump right in front of everybody. 125 gets you there. You do that three times, and then get mashed down to the $75 rate for perpetuity. Yes! Also, there is a band review option. <laughs> so if you've got a band and you're trying to get your band some exposure, hit me up at sorry at gmail.com, and I'll show you the details about how to pull you that off. You can also jump on Patreon, and there is a option on the tiers to be able to get your band reviewed. Yep. Obviously, we can't lie to you. So we can't guarantee, can't guarantee a positive you review. A positive review. <laughs> get what you get. It's just rubbish. 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 That's British for garbage. Ah! My favorite is a community option. One dollar at the gate gets you in a Patreon. You get to join an alliance. The alliance joins their points together, and that helps determine what songs that we do. The alliances hang out on Discord. Message me on Patreon to get the link. And they do all kinds of other cool things. They do Minecraft. What? Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, yeah. It's really a community within the community. Anybody can go on the village, facebook.com backslash and sorry. There's 160 plus thousand people on the channel. What's cool about the Discord is that it offers a real opportunity for community connection, friendship, that type of thing. But, and uh, it's on Discord, so if you're not a Facebook person, it's for you. You start off at a dollar. Right. Plus you get exclusives. Sorry and I are working on a song. So the first 15 seconds of that was on Patreon. Also, at $15 here and above, when we actually debut the video, they're going to be there live with us. There you are, dear listener. Fire merch. Fire merch. The team, man was like believe. bent over like yeah, yeah, no, it's what? like you guys, are, you guys are walking around with a Punisher decal. Like, really? <laughs> Great OPSEC, man. Nobody knows who the fuck you guys are. Right? <laughs> Ridiculous. Uh, all right, you guys. DJ Ben is up. Uh what? How did the how did the poll go, Amy? I don't even want to I'm gonna laugh at them because they lost people, but holy shit, you guys are dumb as fuck. All right, shout out to Felipe Soto, long live Chile. Here All we right. go. We are up here with the big homie DJ Ben, and uh, we have been doing Megadeth. What was the first band we did? First band Exodus. Was, uh, Exodus. Exodus. You know, just 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 metal. Yeah. Just metal. Just some great just metal. stuff. All right, guys. Song numero trace. Song numero trace comes from a band. I think you're familiar with them on this channel. They go by the name of Lamb of God. I think is the name of the band. Oh. No, I lied to you. I lied to you. I lied to you. The Faceless is the name of the, this band. Pestilence is the name of the song. In 2020, Venezuela did obituary. Infected, that's the name of the song. And I was like, how did nobody make a stream full of song with titles and or subject matter in this same vein? My short list would have been Slayer Epidemic, which pairs nicely with Slayer Postmortem, Opeth, To Rid the Disease, Opeth, The Leper Affinity, Pestilence, Chronic Infection, Carcass, Symposium of Sickness, and this song, <gasps> the, faceless the Faceless Pestilence by the band Pestilence. I don't want it set over there. I'm going to drink it. I just passed me it. So you could enjoy some if you wanted it. Okay. <laughs> I don't. I've got to right. be focused on this thing. All right. Here we go, guys. Pestilence, the faceless. Ugh. And we're off.
That oh was Pestilence, the Faceless. That must have been crazy back in the day when some pestilence would stroll through and nobody knew what the frig was going on. Like, we got a little taste of that in COVID. You know what I mean? Like, cause at the beginning, nobody knew, like, how bad is this? How serious is it going to get? But, like, remember when, like, imagine the Black Plague rolling through and nobody knows where it's coming from. This song was written in 2006. So, they were not reacting to COVID. I just thought we were talking about something that happened in the past. I yeah. Was just comparing it to it, COVID. It, it made me, I mean, it sounds like Ebola, right? Um, emaciated figure dying in the streets, boils and sores devour their yeah. flesh, vital organs turn to sludge. This inescapable fate captures humanity with every hour victims fall. I remember it was like a week into it. Michael Moore, I was listening. I actually stopped oh, listening. Limbs and appendages fall off. I actually stopped listening to his podcast after COVID, actually. Who? What Michael Moore. Oh, yeah, okay, why? Remember that oh, podcast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to, I used to He's that the one that said night. he was going to tell. He was apologizing to the Iranians. Didn't he say he told them to hold on because it made it yeah. sound? Yeah, okay. He said he told the... He... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, man. That was a righteous kill. I don't care what he says. We had beef with dude. Like, he was an enemy. He was responsible for the death of U.S. soldiers. The technology we used made it so that it was only him and his driver that died. I mean, you, you couldn't have, as far as like the rules of the field go, like, I'm sorry, it was just a righteous, it was a good hit. Mm -hmm. But Michael Moore gets, <laughs> Michael Moore got out there and uh, he, he start he's like addressing, you know, those moments when you look into the camera and you're like, hear me. So he's like, he, he speaks into the mic and he's like, uh, the president of Iran, uh, just give me some time, give me some time, and we're gonna vote this bastard out of here, and da 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 da, and like, we're sorry, and it was just like, give uh, me some time. I remember, so I remember this, like, laughing. I was, I was too, um, like, amused by just how delusional this guy was <laughs> to be, nor, like, what I would be, which would be insulted. <coughs> that you would apologize for something like that on my behalf and then go begging to this Iranian not to Oh, hurt. yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. normally I'd have been like, man, what the... F but it was just so delusional and crazy to me that I could, you know, I just let it go. But my point was, like, I stopped listening to Michael Moore. He had this show entitled The First One Million. And this is him talking about COVID. And he just started melting down about COVID. He was like, we're going to have to triage. And he's like, oh. he's like, if you say that you don't believe in evolution, you're not going to get a shot. And I was just like, whoa, this dude believes it. Like millions of people are going to die. And he, he really believes that that's like a moral thing to say and do. Like, wow, if you don't believe it. So I'm like, damn. They, Why did he make evolution the line? Because he can't stand that. Because the only group of people in his mind that would deny evolution would be right wing evangelicals. So he's fine with those people die, like in bunches. And like it really, like okay. COVID really kind of masked off like really ugly parts of humanity. I like, agree. I remember I shot a Middle America thing agree. where it was like. Um, people were talking about not giving uh, health care to the unvaccinated. So it's like if they got afflicted with COVID or whatever, not to give them a seat or not to give them a bed. And I was like... Yeah, I remember that. And I, I remember saying, like, I'm against the anti-vaxxers. I'm, I'm pro-mask, stay inside, social distancing, the whole nine yards. Um, and I remember saying, like, I think that the, the anti-mask, anti-vax people are wrong, but I think that that's crazy. Like, you can't, we can't do that. You can't go there. Like, and you should see the guy in the comment sections is there. So for everybody can check it out themselves. But it was like hundreds of comments of people being like, fuck them. It's natural selection. Mm. I'm like, whoa. That's crazy. Dude. Like, whoa, man. Like this is crazy like you're talking these are people in your own country yeah. like what they should die holy shit like it was a real 
you know, 9-11 was scary. But I think contextually speaking, like if a well, person really sits down and thinks through the ramifications of COVID, not only did more people die in the whole COVID situation than 9-11, but I think the greater issue there is how easy it is to get Americans to turn on each other. That's that's what I think. To because, the point of death. Yeah, because when the, the Twin Towers whole thing, all that stuff happened, we got closer and right. we we locked arms with each other. But Sada. when COVID happened... And it was an enemy from divided. without. Yeah, people were divided and, you know, it was, it was, you know, people, you were... Even even people in their own cars. I agree. Somebody wearing a mask in their car driving around is weird. But like people were getting angry about it. Yeah. Why are you so angry what somebody else is doing in their own car? And yeah, and, and it's just ridiculous because that happened a million times with me, but it had nothing to do with me thinking Koba was in my car. Right. It was just I'm listening to Yeah. Whoever. And you, you know don't mess it doesn't seem like it bothers you to have something covering your face. I didn't care. I mean I'm like I didn't care you know what I'm saying like it's you know like I didn't think I was gonna die you know what I'm saying but I'm like well you know it's main they got they got low immune systems you know what I'm saying and some recessive genes not necessarily the strongest people on the planet reside well, I came here from there you see what I'm saying but like I I don't know man it, it, it was that was the scariest thing man was like you can really get people cause cause after 9-11 it was like everybody wanted you know, if you were an American, mm -hmm. you didn't want to see another dead American again. Mm -hmm. You didn't want to see anything bad happen to an American, yep. you know, after 9-11. But, man, yep. like, COVID, it was like you had people genuinely wishing death upon people. Like, I was like, yo. And like I said, like, I was, I was in the main, I took the mainstream position. But I was like, yo, like, what's going on? Like, these are, these are our own countrymen. Like, what are we doing? I don't know. It was a crazy situation, dude. Like, so when you, I'm looking at this mm. song and I'm like, what if you had something? Because now what it comes down to is like, I'm not going to say it was a common cold, but long story short, it was basically, if, if you were a youngish type person with basic health, you were fine. Like, they should have kept the gyms open. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Right, right. I don't know. I don't they know. should have, yeah. Yeah, and I was just listening to this thing yesterday where with this doctor, he's talking about the top three supplements you have to have, and it's zinc, fish oil, and vitamin D. Mm -hmm. And he was saying that um, I forgot what the cohort or what the study was, but long story short, like vitamin D was like five hundred times more effective than even the vaccine or whatever, whatever the thing was. It was just vitamin. Vitamin D, and apparently, like a lot of people who are in a certain weight category are deficient in vitamin D. Oh, really? Um, I didn't know that. And then, if you think about Maine and places like that, when people are not out in the sun, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, yeah, but now it's like, yeah, man, it gets some vitamin D and you're in good shape. We have a current, we have a strike. We have a community guideline strike. Yeah, we do. Because I read a um, an excerpt from the CDC. No, no, from the New York Times, where the CDC said they kept the COVID data. Um, they didn't release certain elements of the COVID data to the public because they didn't believe that the public was ready for the information. So I read that from the New York Times. They gave us a community guideline strike for it. Like, shout out to... Uh, okay. Shout out to uh, our completely unbiased government. Um, I really like the song. It was Knuckle Dragon Heavy Metal, which everybody knows that I that Vinny loves Knuckle Dragon Heavy Metal. Everybody knows that. Um, but on top of it, it was kind of like a... It was almost like a, a, a year in review of 2020 for me. Mm -hmm. Because I was thinking to myself, like... Nobody's limbs or whatever was falling off, but what if, like, if you got COVID, like, your limbs would fall off? Like, people would be even crazier. You know what I'm saying? Oh, People would be even in, more insane. Like, but then again, I also think people would be rushing to get vaccinated. Like, if you saw, oh, one hundred percent. If you saw people's yeah. arms and shit falling off, most yeah, they wouldn't have would. to put out those little incentives—a yeah. burger, a, a beer. Uh, nobody, <laughs> nobody, weird nobody, nobody that they would. Get, <laughs> I mean, after that shit happened, yeah. what did you get the song? What oh, were you thinking I, about? I the song? did not like the song. This one was a—it was a three point five for me. 
Oh my god. Yeah, I was not not a fan Are of it. Are you serious? Yeah, I really didn't like it. This song was incredible. I yeah. like the math metal aspect of it. I'm gonna give it a solid, solid nine. There it is. Don't let them hold you down. We're coming right back, We'll be right listener. back, you guys. We're coming right back with more from DJ uh, Freakin' Ben. You know, you, you, you gotta get to a certain level to get to the freaking level <laughs> in your title. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with Sori. I hate this Look, band. Look, Real Science agrees with me, too. This shows that you're not really a Christian.